in this box is the very first single bevel Hanisuke to leave the Isamitsu shop and it's all mine. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Coelho and this channel is all about knife knowledge, reviews, unboxings and head-to-heads. And today is all about my dream Honisuke from Isamitsu. If you don't know who Isamitsu is, what are you doing? Figure it out! I got some videos here, link in the description. They're basically taking the market by storm. They're amazing. Um, I, I don't know what else to tell you. I mean, I got more videos about them than probably most other Smiths on my channel. I went to see them in September when Bunzai Boys Trading and H&K Trading invited me on this Japan trip to introduce them to the world of Japanese kitchen knives. If you haven't seen that video, that video can also be found here or linked in the description. And essentially, I had already met Gaku back in 2017 on my second Japan trip, and now I got to meet the second owner and amazing knife smith operator of Isamitsu Knives, Isamitsu Yuki. And after speaking to them and spending roughly two days with them, I knew that I was going to commission them to make me a custom knife that I was going to dream about for weeks and months until I received it. And that is this knife right here. So we're going to take a look at the unboxing, but essentially what you can expect is if you haven't watched so many videos to recommend in this one video, if you haven't watched my head-to-head -head with my Takeda Honisuke versus a Saji Deba, that Deba being single bevel, I had realized after that video that maybe the knife for me, the knife that I'm looking for, is going to be a single bevel Honisuke. Why? Because the Deba in that video was absolutely advantageous in many, many ways. But one of its large disadvantages was that the spine is just unnecessarily thick. The knife is unnecessarily heavy, which made it not easy to maneuver. A Honusuke at 150 millimeters, single bevel, the spine should be less thick than on a Deba. And I thought maybe that's the juste milieu, maybe that's exactly what I'm looking for to have the best chicken butchery knife in my kit. And so let's go check that out and we'll come right back and I'll tell you all about it. So, in hand, we have a beautiful 150 millimeter Honisuke single bevel from Isamitsu Knives. It, of course, has their stunning, iconic Tsuchimi pattern. It's also Kurochi. The core is going to be Ogami Super. It's going to be stainless clad. On the Uda side, for those that have really good eyes, you'll have noticed that there's a kanji that you haven't seen before. That's because it's a kanji specifically for me that I requested. This one, I believe, is uh, goes by say the English name Kizuna as the kanji and essentially what it means is just bonds like brotherly bonds or think about friendship. I wanted something special to commemorate my trip in Japan in September of 2023 as well as just meeting the whole Isamitsu family and being welcomed with open arms and for the handle I had a very specific request so you've known for years that one of my favorite knives is the Takeda Honisuke which I also call Great Ghost for a few reasons but one of those reasons because it has a dyed box elder handle or Manitoba maple so I requested that the handle look somewhat similar but also not I wanted the handle to remind me of the Takeda Great Ghost Honisuke but also I somehow wanted it to remind me of 
one of my favorite knives, as you know, the 210 millimeter Teruyasu Fujiwara Denka Gyoto. That handle, made by Origin Goods in Manitoba, the stain, the dye, never found its way fully through the handle. And most people might say, well, that's an imperfection and that maybe I shouldn't have bought it as is, but I, I saw beauty in imperfection and I kind of wanted this handle to reminisce of that. So I was going for both tones of gray, but also somehow to have the wood reject some of the dye. And I have no idea what Gaku did on his end, but the handle came out absolutely beautiful. So this is, of course, going to be three pieces of dyed maple. There's some grays in it, there's some reds. It's going to be their classic pentagonal handle. And this knife is, is truly wonderful. It's everything that I wanted and more. It's my dream knife, Honisuke. And so that's it. I just wanted to show it to all of you, to tell you that I'm a proud owner of the first single bevel Isamitsu Honisuke to leave their shop. Of course, if you want a knife like this, just like I did, I'm sure you can also contact them and put in a custom order. And let me tell you, I cannot wait to do some chicken butchery with this. But that's it guys, thank you so much for joining me on this unboxing of this absolutely gorgeous Isamitsu single bevel Honisuke. And until not, what do you say we dive right in and end the video with a chicken butchery demo. Of course, the second I unboxed this, I had to try it on chicken. Um, the first chicken never goes so well, so I've kind of stitched the footage together a little bit so that you can really see the knife working as it should, as opposed to me making mistakes using the knife, because three to four months always elapse between when I do chicken butchery. Why? Because again, I buy three chickens from Costco, I do them all in one sitting, and then I don't touch chicken again for another three to four months. So enjoy the chicken butchery demo. The patina that has built on this knife is already absolutely stunning after just three chickens. Can't wait to use it some more. Isamitsu boys, Kizuna, thank you so much for appealing to my request to create my dream single bevel honisuke. And guys, if you like this video, like and subscribe, leave a comment, it goes a long way. Enjoy the chicken butchery demo and until next time.